Good day, sir. I am Lloyd Bulati Bailio, an aspiring science teacher, and here is my detailed lesson plan in Science 7, entitled Animal and Plant Cells. Allow me to start. Everybody stand up for the prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning. Before you take your seat, I want you to pick up a piece of paper under your chairs. Arrange your chairs properly and organize yourselves. Let me now take your seat. And for our attendance, please say present if your name is Cole. A class of John Dexter, Montano Carlos, Abba Dexter Yule, and I am Aldrin, Amogis, Jessa, Ligtas, Renalyn, Jane, Baha, Evangeline, and Olaymar, Fiona, Angelica. Okay, everybody is present. A big hand. And then I gave you an assignment yesterday, okay? Please get your assignment and exchange it to your partner. Okay, let's check your assignments. Okay, we're done. With your assignments, please pass it forward in 3, 2, 1. Wow. Good, a very good scores. Now this morning, we will have another lesson. But before that, let us have a recap of the yesterday's discussion. Yes, Akaso. Precisely. Yesterday, we talked about the biological organization. And what are these biological organization? Yes, Abba. Precisely, you may now take your seat. Welcome to another lesson in Science 7. To start with, I have here a chart. I want you to identify the picture A and picture B. So picture A here is this a picture, and picture B this one. So what do you think is picture A? Yes, I know this. Very good. Picture A is an animal cell. What about picture B? Yes, Baha. Very good. So picture B is a plant cell. Now, what do you think our lesson this morning based on these two pictures? Yes, what I mark precisely. Our lesson for today is all about animal and plant cell. But before we proceed to our lesson proper, let me first present to you our objective for today. So kindly read our objective for today. All right, thank you for the participation. And class, I have here a trivia. So did you know that parts of animal and plant cells are called organelles? So what are these organelles? Precisely. Thank you, you may now take your seat. So animals and plant cells. So animal cells are in circular shapes, while plant cells are in rectangular shapes. Everybody please take note of uh, some important points as we go along our discussion. Okay, alright? Thank you. So, today I would like to have our first activity. So what you will have to do is to fill in the blanks. To, uh, as your prior knowledge from your uh, elementary grades. So group one, you will have the animal cells. And group two, you will have the plant cells. Okay. Here, please get the paper. Okay. I'll give you uh, 10 minutes to answer your activity. Okay, I bet you're done. Please pass your activity forward in three, two, one. Okay, we're done. And now, let's move on to the, our, our lesson for today. There are evident parts of both animals and plant cells. Evident parts of both animal and plant cells. So what do you mean by that? So it means that there are parts of animal and plant cells that they are the same. So first, we have cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a gel-like material inside the cell that surrounds and protects the cell's organelles. Two, we have mitochondria. Anyone wants to read? Oliver, 
Thank you. Please sit down. Number three, we have cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is a network of protein filament within some cells that helps that maintain its shape and is involved in many forms of cell movements. Next, we have cell membrane. And again, please read cell membrane. Okay? Thank you. Please take your seat. Next is the nucleus. Amogis, please read nucleus. Okay, thank you. We have endoplasmic reticulum. So endoplasmic reticulum is a part along where molecules, especially proteins, move from one part to another cell. So this endoplasmic reticulum basically has two parts, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. So in smooth endoplasmic reticulum, there is a no ribosomes, and in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, it has a ribosomes. Okay, let's proceed. Number seven of the evident parts of both animal and plant cells. We have ribosomes. Okay, Akaso, please read ribosomes. Okay, thank you. Now we have the Golgi Golgi apparatus. Okay, Abao, please read Golgi apparatus. Okay, very good. Thank you. Next, we have vacuum. Vacuum stores materials such as water, salts, proteins, and carbohydrates. So plants have a large vacuum, while animals have a small vacuum. Lastly, we have lysosome. So what is lysosome? Baha, please read lysosome. Okay, thank you. So lysosome can be present in all animal cells, but uh, will rarely can be found in plant cells. Okay. Let's move on to the cells that can only be found in animal cells. We have centrioles. Only one, the centrioles. So centrioles is the structure that help organize cell division. Now we have, if we have uh, cells that can be found in animals, we also have cells that can be found only in a plant cell. Only in plant cell. So what do you think that a cell that can only be found in plant cells that cannot be found in animal cells? Yes, Abba? Brilliant! Yes, we have the cell wall and chloroplast. But first, we will have the cell wall, okay? So, the cell wall. Okay, Abba, because you answered our uh, cell can be found, that can be found in plant cells, okay. can you please read what is cell wall? Okay, let me now take your seat. Thank you. And now we have your answer, the chloroplast. Okay. Chloroplast captures the energy from the sunlight and uses it to make its own, own food as what photosynthesis happen in this process or in this cell, the chloroplast. So chloroplast can be found in every uh, leaves of the plants. So they make their own food via photosynthesis. Okay. Thank you for that. And now, let's have our uh, verses of animal and plant cells. So here we can differentiate the cells that can be found in animal and plant cells. Okay? Okay. So this is all about animal and plant cells. Now, I want you to get a sheet of paper, a clean paper, and your ball pen. So we have here an assessment. So we only have five assessments for you to answer. So it is just uh, an easy assessment for you since you are in grade seven. So here, you may now answer. So the answers are only can be found in our discussion. So you are free to uh, find the answer for your assessment in our discussion. So please take notes for the important uh, points. And yes, Madame, what's your question? Yes, you can use short band paper. 
Okay? Or no, but paper. It's okay, as long as it is clean sheet of paper. Okay. I will give you 15 minutes to answer and reflect the answer in your own. Okay? I bet you're done. Please pass your papers forward in three, two, one. Okay. Thank you. And before I'll give you your assignments for today's topic, let us go back to our objectives if we met our objective for today. We have met our objective for today. So we already differentiate plant and animal cells according to presence or absence of certain organs. So that's what we did in our uh, discussion. We differentiate the parts of animals and plant cells. Okay? So number two, explain why the cell is considered the basic structural and functional unit of all organisms. So you did find the answers from our assessments. So, and now we have our assignments for you to answer and you will pass this assignment tomorrow. Okay? So we have our assignments for you to answer. So this assignment is an essay tab. So you will answer with at least 200 words for our essay type. Or this, this is just like a reflection in our discussion. So you will reflect to our question, what is the importance of animal and plant cell in our, our daily lives? Yes, Akaso. Yes, you will write this one to a love and paper. Thank you for uh, participating in our class for this morning. And please stand up for our closing prayer. Uh, Ligtas, can you lead the prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tomorrow, class. Thank you, and God bless us all. Keep safe, always.